Peace and greetings everyone, Devanzio here uh, once again with another tutorial video. Um, today we are getting into uh, some really cool stuff. We have uh, Dragon OS here, uh, this operating system I'm going to talk to you about. And this is how we're going to use the HackRF. Um, I explained uh, an intro to the HackRF on another video um, that you should check out <clears throat> um, before you jump into this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to walk through this uh, Linux distribution. Um, there's not too many videos on this. Um, really, the main core of good videos is from the creator of this distribution. So um, shout out to him, um, Simexecutor. I think I'm saying it right. Um, but I'll put the links down below um, to where you can get Dragon OS. Um, right now, I'm using it on a uh, Raspberry Pi. You can see the setup here. And um, pretty cool mobile setup. Uh, this is a touchscreen. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so after you've uh, installed it, uh, there's two different versions. There's one for. Um, Raspberry Pi, and then there's one for uh, the other architectures, like for your Mac or PC. <clears throat> but this is the Raspberry Pi version, so it looks um, pretty straightforward. Um, it's off of a uh, typical Linux distribution. Um, but here, when you open um, up all of this, <clears throat> you have a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, so you could check out um, what's in the accessories and it comes pre-packaged with a lot of uh, really useful stuff. And then we have the ham radio section. And uh, I'll be going through um, select a few of these um, like SDR++ um, is good for uh, tuning into different frequencies like radio and all that. Um, DR, uh, DQRX, uh, once again with SDR. Uh, SIG diggers with um, it's like a si signal analyzer. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, definitely cool things. Sat dump um, for satellites and stuff. Then we have some more uh, internet-based stuff. And it comes with a few office stuff. And then here in the other, we have um, quite a ton of stuff too as well. Um, like this uh, Bluetooth sniffer and you uh, use your uh, SDR. Uh, for that stuff. HackRF Spectrum Analyzer. So there's quite a lot of um, really cool stuff uh, all packed into here. Um, has Yate BTS if you want to do some uh, LTE mobile um, experiments. SRS RAN examples, um, which is cool um, because <clears throat> it really takes out a lot of the time um, to um, build and compile a lot of these projects, um, which I know is not the most uh, beginner friendly. And then uh, some uh, coding stuff. I'm just going through all the stuff for you guys. All right, <clears throat> now that we've seen the menu, and everything, we're going to uh, test out some stuff. And I'm gonna go into a uh, deeper video on more of the different uh, libraries and uh, different programs you can use with this. Um, but you're just gonna wanna plug in the HackRF. We should see all the cool lights pop up. Got our antenna up. So we're gonna check out uh, SDR plus plus. 
And you can see here uh, the HackRF is selected. And then we have the ID for it. <clears throat> then we have uh, 2 megahertz selected. And then you can select your uh, bandwidth too, of course. And it's a pretty standard um, SDR app. And I'll uh, go more into it later, but um, you could really alter all the different bands and do some uh, extra different things. And then what's cool here, you can uh, add different frequencies. Um, so let's uh, hit play. Okay, so we got sound going. Let's put on a radio station. So using uh, this, kind of get a basic um, intro into frequencies. And really um, learning about the bandwidth. So you see I could increase the bandwidth. Kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to hear. So the radio stations we know are just uh, some of the certain frequencies we're used to. But then we can go up to um, 433-ish. Now... <clears throat> we can uh, tune into car key frequencies and uh, analyze those as well, for example. So that's uh, another cool thing. So another cool thing about the HackRF is that um, it goes up to uh, 6 gigahertz frequencies. So <clears throat> for sure it can hit the um, 2.400 or um, 2.4 gigahertz frequencies um, such as uh, Wi-Fi and um, Bluetooth. So as you can see, um, we're getting some static, and I imagine that's because of the um, certain Bluetooth devices like right here. So let's say, for example, you had one of these um, from the other videos, uh, the Bluetooth Wi-Fi jammer. Um, you could test to see if it's working, um, if it's sending off to the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. But yeah, I highly recommend um, you check out uh, SDR++, and I'll be going into it uh, a little bit more. Um, but it's definitely a cool way to uh, listen to the radio um, and not do it the normal way. All right, so that is um, SDR++. So next we'll do a quick look at Universal Radio Hacker. So uh, this is a really cool um, app as well. <clears throat> you can do uh, quite a bit. Um, shout out to Johannes and Andreas. 
Uh, so you're just going to go, um, you could do new pat, uh, project, you could check out the spectrum analyzer. So we'll see that. Uh, make sure you select your device. And so that uh, supports a whole bunch of different uh, ones. Um, even if you don't have uh, a hack RF. You can still use uh, dongles like this uh, SDR dongle from uh, Nulek, and I'll put the links down below. But this is a like $30 uh, alternative, but it only goes up to, um, I think, 1.5 gigahertz or something like that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to select uh, HackRF. And then um, if you have multiple uh, devices, you can select its identifier. And then here you can um, select the frequency, but we're just going to uh, do a quick little test with the key fob. And then you can uh, change some different uh, things here in the gain if you need to. And then uh, <clears throat> whenever you're ready, you're gonna hit uh, start. And then here it uh, checks for frequencies. So you could see uh, it's grabbing uh, the car key fob. And you can um, successfully test to see. And also if you have uh, like signal uh, generator and you have antennas you're not sure about, you can also um, use this as well. And you don't have to um, buy a separate spectrum analyzer. And then you can uh, analyze it all. You can see the uh, info down here. So here we can uh, record signals real quick. And then uh, easily save them. Shows you uh, how much has been captured. And then you can uh, play that over again. And then here you can get into more nitty gritty stuff and um, have it sniff uh, specific protocols like ASK, FSK, PSK. Um, <clears throat> and then you can also um, get all that data. All right, so uh, last we'll check out real quick a uh, Bluetooth sniffer. And this is a uh, BTLE. And all right, so here uh, you can see it's starting to uh, sniff. And you can see that it's using uh, the HackRF. We have the access address. <clears throat> and this is the frequency it's on. And by default, it's checking out uh, channel 37. You can see here is the data. And if we go to the uh, readme, you get a whole bunch of uh, cool documentation <clears throat> on how to use this. 
So there's quite a few different things. You could change the uh, channel. And this is uh, 0 to 39. Change the gain if you would like. And uh, really go through and change a lot of the different things. Um, you can also change the frequency if you want to do um, other things than 2.4. Um, but also a cool thing is um, this can also uh, transmit with this BTLE uh, TX. Um, so you can uh, transmit packets and you can uh, really customize and get into the nitty gritty of um, what you want to do. So as you can see here, um, you have a, um, You have an example uh, right here. And then this is like a packet discovery. And as you can see, um, you can send in uh, fake packets so you can see um, certain uh, devices and really test out um, a whole bunch of different things. So um, probably get into like Bluetooth spoofing and um, beacon spamming and all that. Um, but yeah, if you go through all that, you can uh, learn more. And um, you can also try and understand more uh, what all this is. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much that in a nutshell. Um, just a quick uh, overview. Um, I'll be going through um, a lot more of these. Um, not all of these can be used with HackRF, um, but you can use them in conjunction with other stuff. And um, you can always add more uh, stuff too. All right, that was a quick overview um, of Dragon OS. Uh, it's kind of like a beginner's uh, guide. Um, I'll have uh, other videos on how you can uh, quickly install it if you're having issues and just other things like that. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, you really just download it and uh, flash it to a SD card or a, um, a USB flash drive. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be going into more other cool stuff um, that you could do with the uh, HackRF. Yeah, some other cool stuff you could do with the uh, hacker app, really just touching um, the tip of the iceberg. Um, but please uh, like and subscribe and uh, follow along the radio hacking journey and um, some other uh, interesting projects too um, coming up in the works too. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Peace.